Greetings, fellow Spitz Planetarium users. This is Dan Zielinski, Planetarium Director at Jenks Public Schools Planetarium. And we're going to start a video series on how to use ATM. Uh, both a how-to and maybe just some tips on uh, how to use it better or quicker. We're going to start today with a very simple one of how to make very quick text slides for your planetarium shows. I'm going to start easy because I want to make sure that the equipment is working and so it gives you guys a chance to comment back on quality and on what topics you would like to see in the future. Let's begin. The program I like to use to make quick text slides is Paint. It comes with every Windows program and I've hotkeyed it to my bar. If it's not there for you, simply hit the Start menu, type in Paint in Search, and it will be the top one. Once open, I always like to set my dimensions for my images. 512, 512 is pretty standard. So I go up to my properties and make sure it's on pixels, and then just put in height and width of 512, 512. Now we have to set the color. I want my main text to be white, so color 1 will be white. My background needs to be black, so color 2 will be black. Now take the paint can and fill in this square, and it will be black with a right click. Now click on the A for text, and a text box will open when you click into the square. I'm going to write the word bitmap because I want to save it as a bitmap. To center this, I'm going to hit Control A and drag it into the center. Now I want to save this. So I'm going to go up to the menu and type Save As. And I'm going to save it as a bitmap. I've already pre-made a folder for this picture. And there you're going to notice that there's four ways to save a bitmap. You want the last one. And I'm going to save this as bitmap test. And you'll understand why I'm doing bitmaps in a second. Now I want to make three slides total. So to make a second one, I simply hit Control A, select all, and then hit delete. This, is, this means I don't have to reset everything for my second slide. I just simply hit the text button and enter in my next text, which will be PNG, another file form that I'd like to discuss today. Control A, select all and center it, and now make sure to save as, don't save, but save as, now a PNG. And we're going to save this as PNG test. Our third slide, again, control A, select all and delete. Our third slide I want to make red. So we're going to click here, type in the word red, but oh, it's not red. So in paint, what you need to do is change color one to the color you want your text. So I change the white to red and retype red. It is now red. Control A, select all and drag it to the center. Oh, my mistake. Let's try that again. There it is. Now we need to save as. But as a shortcut, so it's quicker in the future, instead of using the menu, hit F12. The menu comes right up as Save As, and simply type in your name, Red Test in this case. Now that the files are created, it's time to put them onto the dome. I'm going to open up a brand new ATM file. I actually have created a file named New Show, because as you can see now, I've actually pre-created 20 starry night lines. It's the most common used line, so this saves me time in creating them as I create a show. I'm going to click on one of those lines, double click to open the menu, and then click slide. This of course opens the slide menu where we can insert slides. So we're going to hit the button on uh, the slide button and now find the slide in the folder we put it in. We're going to use the bitmap to start. Now that you can see the bitmap has been entered in the line, we now want to change the way it's on the dome to transparent, to semi-transparent, excuse me. Okay, we're going to then click live. When you click live, you will actually see it appear on the dome. Like so. Well, once a slide is up there, you can now adjust it by clicking on various windows and dragging your mouse. By clicking what I just clicked, I turned off red, turning the color blue, as you saw. As I can also change the green, or I can change the blue. All along, 
the color of the text will change. Now the reason I like bitmaps a little bit more than PNGs is because of this opacity line. Opaque means that it gets dimmer or brighter as you move the fader. As you can see, I've shook in a fader a lot. What that did was made bitmap fade, then come back to bright, and then of course shake in the middle there. I was shaking it earlier. This does not happen with PNGs as I'll demonstrate later. With these other faders, you can of course change location up and down and left and right. Here's up and down on the dome. And here was my left and right movement. The next section down is size. Simply scrolling left or right on here will increase or decrease the size. There's big. And of course, back to small. We're going to leave it big so it's easier to see on my webcam. Last one is the roll, in case you want to angle your text in some way. So you can roll it left or roll it right, as seen right there. Now, I want to go back up to the top and change it to opaque. You'll notice that when you do that, the box, the 512, 512 box you made it in actually does appear and blocks the stars. If you turn it to transparent, that goes away. So you can then see through the black box it's in. However, if you go to opaque now and you adjust opaque even all the way down to zero, nothing happens. The text does not fade, not even a little bit. The last setting would be black opaque. Now this one, it does fade, but it usually does it all at the last moment. So opacity does work as you fade down to zero. But when you see in this next slide, when we go to the webcam view of what I'm doing on the menu, it does it quickly. So it's not a gradual fade. It's pretty much all at the end. It's all or nothing, either on or off. There's very little middle ground with black opaque, which is why when I'm using bitmaps, I like semi-transparent. It gives you full use of all four categories. Semi-transparent. And I'm going to adjust the opacity again. And we're going to save that slide right there. All right, now moving on to the PNG file. We're going to, on the next line down, we're going to, again, insert a slide. Same process. Going to hit the button slide go to our folder that we have it in and insert the PNG slide. We're going to put this one to semi-transparent. We're going to click live and take a look and notice, well, it's a little small for the picture. So let me actually raise it up and make it bigger. And actually what you're going to notice is that on semi-transparent PNG shows the black box behind it. That's no, that's not good. Doesn't look very good. So let's switch it to maybe opaque, that didn't work. Black opaque, that didn't work. Oh, must be transparent, and that is correct. Transparent is the only one PNG will get cleared for. So PNG can only ever be transparent. Make sure you have that setting. Now, as with B, uh, bitmap though, when you're on transparent, the opacity does not work. So the opacity is useless. You don't have to affect, you don't have to change that. You can still change its color. If you want the same effect, you actually have to change all three colors. So to dim out a PNG, you need to turn red, green, and blue all down to the same number, and then you'll get the same as effect as just changing opaque. So that I prefer using bitmaps over PNGs because they're quicker and easier because opacity works. Now the one downfall to bitmaps is they are larger files, so they will take longer to load. If you have a lot of movements going on, you may see a, a glitch in that. Our third slide here is going to be the red one. Now the only reason I made a red slide is really to show you that you should never do that. So it is a PNG, so we're going to put it in transparent, went to live, and there's our slide. Now I'm going to make it nice and big so everybody can see it. 
Now, the reason why you never want to make a slide that's naturally red is simply because you have no options now. You have no way of going back and fixing things. So if I go to the color saturation and I say, oh, I don't want red anymore, I turn off red, well, the slide is red. So of course, taking away red out of red slide is going to make it go black. You can't see it. So if I turn red on, but maybe I, you know, maybe change blue or green, nothing's going to happen because there is no blue or green in the color red. So you really lack yourself your options when you make slides that aren't white. So my suggestion is never make a slide, uh, never make a text slide of any color. Always make it white. When you make it white, you then can do, as I'm about to do here with the bitmap, you can always adjust the sliders and make it any color you want. Now, if you think I went too fast, that's okay. YouTube videos can only be of certain length, but you have the advantage of stopping, restarting, and watching any part you want over and over again. I'm anxious to hear what you guys think of the quality to making sure that you guys were able to see everything. I'm also anxious to hear what other ideas you have on tips or techniques on how to use your planetarium better. This is Dan Zielinski, Jenks Public Schools Planetarium. I'll see you next time.